Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Nice. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying that. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a higher gun, then maybe we can talk. From what I just heard, sounds like you're out of business. Are you kidding me? I'm not about to let a couple of gunner rejects stand between me and a solid payday. Never heard of the gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. So, when are we going to have that one-on-one -on -one interview, Piper? Ah, oh, McCready. <laughs> Never in a million years. <clears throat> there you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. All I'm good for is hauling your crap. Hey. Don't mind the clutter. God, I love this song. That's right, good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? 
Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is, I... Oh, is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My, I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Excuse me. What? No. It can't. It... it, it. It's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me! I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you! Two hundred years, and you're still perfect! How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A Freak! I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms. One room specifically. Payment due up front. All right. Here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. I just clean up around here. Yes. 